Comet system in Drupal 8 has been rebuilt from the ground up and it is a thousand times better than in Drupal 7. You see, comments in Drupal 7 were pretty limited. You could only use them on content types and that's it. You couldn't add them to any other entity type like a taxonomy term or a user. But in Drupal 8, you can add them to any entity type through a field and you can create different comment types. This means that you could have a comment type for anonymous users and a premium comment type for premium users or users with specific roles. So in this video, we're going to add comments to our blog content type. And as usual, if you want to read this tutorial, head over to the link below. If you prefer to watch, stick around. Okay, so adding comments to our blog content type is pretty straightforward. All we really have to do is attach a field and that's it. So to do that, just click on structure, content types, and click on manage fields on the blog row, and then click on add field. Now, because we use the standard installation profile, we can, we can reuse the comment field which was created for the article content type. So if you, if you click on reuse an existing field dropdown, simply select comments and click on save and continue. Now from here, you can, you can configure all sorts of stuff uh, for the comments. So you can set the default value for on, closed, hidden. You can even um, make the comments threaded, also select how many comments per page. Now, if you use Drupal 7, this may look familiar because back in Drupal 7, you would control this at the content type level, whereas now we're, we're, we're controlling it at the field level. So just leave everything as is and click on save settings. And the only thing left to do is configure how the comments will be rendered. So click on manage display. And here we can, we can configure the label. Let's set it to hidden. And we'll leave it as, we'll leave the formatter as comment list because uh, that's the only option. And then just click on save. Now, if I go to the home page and click on test article, I should see the comment form. Brilliant. Now, by default, anonymous users cannot submit comments. Let's now change the permissions so that, so that anonymous users can submit comments, but an administrator or somebody with privileges will have to approve the comments. So click on people permissions and just scroll down to the comment section and you'll see that the authenticated user can post comments and also skip comment approval whereas anonymous user can view comments but they can't post and just to demonstrate I've got this browser where I'm logged on as an anonymous user or I'm not logged in at all and if I click on the test article, you'll see that I cannot post comments and I have to log in or register. So if I go back here and select post comments for anonymous user, then scroll down to the bottom and click on save permissions. And then I go back and refresh. I can now post a comment. So let me just quickly post a comment subject comment and then I'll click on save and you can see here that a message appears tell, telling me that my comment has been queued for review and then if I come back here and then go to comment sorry content comments you will see that there's a page called unapproved comments and if you click on that one you can see all the unapproved comments that need to be approved. And if you click on edit, you can view the comment, you can even even unpublish it and and from up here you can you can delete it. But generally what I do is I simply select the comment and 
just select publish the selected comments and then click on update. This will simply publish the comment. If you want to delete it, then just select delete. Pretty straightforward. And then if we go back, you can see that the comment or my comment has been published. Now, just a word of warning. If you are going to allow anonymous comments, make sure you set up a capture and also the Honeypot module. So there are a few modules in Drupal. You can use Capture, I think, uh, which allows you to integrate ReCapture and also uh, look at using Mollum. Because if you don't, you will wake up the next day with a ton of spam comments trying to sell you Viagra and comments telling you how great your site is with a ton of comments, with a ton of links below, which isn't useful.